We'll start with the numbers dominated by the coronavirus pandemic. Up to 10 PGA Tour events are called off. There were nine home wins in the latest round of MPFL matches. Eight red cards were brandished in the Porto Alegre Derby in Brazil. Seven top class cricket series postponed. The ATP Tour announced a six week break. Five players and staff of Spanish side Valencia are infected, with Italian side Sampdoria confirming four infections. It's now three NBA players that have caught the virus, while the Australian Grand Prix makes it two races called off in Formula One. And this is the number one sports show on radio. My name is Dick Jonathan. Welcome to Sports Express, brought to you by MTN. Thanks for joining us for Monday's edition of Sports Express, brought to you by MTN. This morning, a change to the program format. We'll start with the big story. Buddy Ogutui and uh, Yemi Adesan have joined me. And of course, it's all about the coronavirus that has ravaged sports events across the world. Well, at least not yet in Africa. We, we think the troublesome bit, we have something to report. This morning, on Thursday, I put up a, a, a tweet. I think Wednesday or Thursday, I put up a tweet that said, in no time, at this rate, those of us in the sports media will have nothing to report. I didn't know 24 hours later, 48 hours later, that tweet was going to come to body. NBA now has three um, infections, Chris Wood, the latest, and match madness completely wiped out. In football, uh, you know I mean, tennis, cricket, everywhere. What next? Wait for, before I go to the, to the match madness, it mm. affected me in a personal way. Yes. Uh, because um, Umura, uh, mm. what, what's his first name? Umura? The son or the dog? The son. Oh. The son. Uh, uh, Jordan. Jordan. Jordan Umura. Um, first of good news, the boy graduated from college in three years. Mm. While, while playing basketball, it was a wow. super record. Uh, but he wanted to give this final year, he wanted to give it as a present to his school. And for the first time, they are going to, watch, they are going to play the match madness. Mm. But now that it was cancelled, the wow. coach sent him a personal apology. That, Look, I, we don't waited for this. That's mm. not happening. And, uh, but hey, like, it, it's something that, 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 that had to be done because of the mm. way the virus, the, 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 the virus was spreading. And then they have said that um, it's likely that they will, they will move the playoffs to, to deep to late June. Mm. And we'll see how we'll see how that pans out because we're still waiting for what on the Olympics. The way the way things are going, Yemi, I, I I feel well. You ever have a meeting tomorrow? Is it tomorrow? And then Premier League would have their own meeting. Another meeting on Thursday. For me, you know, twenty twenty is gone, isn't it? Well, I, I don't think so. I, I think what the first issue here has to be how to realign the calendar. Mm. I read a comment we really made, mm. and he said that since the World Cup is in uh, November mm. 2022, why don't the football world start getting ready, more or less? Switch the start of the season to that period. Mm. Where, so that you're already you know, aligned. There's going to be an alignment, but I don't see, I, mean, I don't see how 2020 will hold. 12 cities across Europe. That is the only. It can hold. This is a unique Euros. It can hold. There is no way twelve twelve cities in Europe will host in these circumstances. That's why I said there is only alignment. Why? Because okay. because, <laughs> because of these twelve cities. Mm. If they move mm. to next year, mm. do you have to realign the calendar. Yeah, the, the next year doesn't have any major competition in the summer for Europe, so they can just move it blank and plant it there. I think for the. I think the, the, the problem that they are having with this realignment is that, mm -hmm. like a lot of experts are saying, you don't know what you see in two weeks' time, in, in a month's time. You don't know whether it will get worse or whether it will get better. Get better. And so, when, when you're talking about realignment, you are, you are talking as if you know what's going to happen next. Mm -hmm. One of the mistakes that they made in Europe was that, um, you know, there's a two-week window that they didn't do anything. And, uh -huh. and, and one, one, I had one doctor say yesterday that, what you don't do today, you see the effects in two weeks' time. Yeah. And then once that happens in two weeks' time, you have an, a, a, you have an epidemic, a pandemic on, on your hands. Okay. So yeah. the, the, way, the way Europe is starting, I looked at, at, at the map of England. It, it, it's spreading, more people are dying. Look, that mission on Thursday, I can tell you what I'm going to say from now, unless, mm. they, unless they have a, a way of seeing to the future. No, I, I think, think Euro 2020 will become at least Euro 2021. <laughs> that, at, at the least. That's, that's my view. Okay, we're going to take a quick break. When we return, some sport did happen across the world. We would give you reports on that. And then we'll talk about what are the solutions going forward on this coronavirus pandemic. A quick break. Welcome back. Well, it's a special day on Sports request. But some sport did take place. Here's King Zafan with the International Newsreel.
Thanks, DG. We start with boxing, where weeks after knocking out Jonty Wilder in their much anticipated rematch, Tyson Fury is in the news again, as the UK anti doping agency is set to investigate a farmer's claim he was told to lie in support of a high profile case involving the world champion. Fury and his cousin Hugi tested positive for a banned steroid in February 2015, with claims that it was as a result of eating uncastrated wild boar, which was bagged by the farmer. In a twist of events, the farmer has revealed that he was offered £25,000 to say he sold the meat to Tim Fury, with UCAD set to launch investigations on the new claims. To Formula 1, following the cancellation of the season opening Australian Grand Prix, Ferrari has shut down production at its factory for two weeks amid the coronavirus outbreak. With races in Bahrain, Vietnam and China already postponed, the new season at least officially is now set to start at the very earliest in May for the Dutch Grand Prix, a turn out of events which has led to Ferrari's operations shut down. Ferrari are the first team to take such action with Lewis Hamilton's Mercedes outfit still running both their UK-based factories as normal despite the coronavirus pandemic. I will move down to athletics where two-time Olympic 800m champion Casta Semai has revealed that her next target is the 200m race at the Tokyo 2020 Games. The 29-year-old who cannot compete in events between 400 meters and a mile without taking testosterone-reducing drugs after a World Athletics Rule change spoke of her decision to switch to the 200 meters in an Instagram post on Friday. However, the three-time 800 meters world champion who ran 200 meters in 23.49 seconds at an event in Pretoria on Friday, 0.69 seconds outside the Olympic qualifying time, is expected to bring her time down to 22.08 seconds before June the 29th to qualify for the South African Olympic team. And still on athletics, the London Marathon scheduled for April has been postponed and rearranged due to the coronavirus outbreak. The event, which had nearly 43,000 runners compete in 2019, has been moved from Sunday, April the 26th to the 4th of October 2020, as the event director, Hugh Brasher, revealed that the move was made to prioritize public health. This is the first time ever the race has been postponed since its launch in 1981. Well, did I say sport indeed did take place? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear any sport <laughs> taking place in those two stories. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, Yemi returned. We've never witnessed anything like this in our, in our lifetimes, have we? I don't think so. Um, mm. it, 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 it happens, I think, in uh, the 20th, 20th year of every new uh, century. Really? 17, 20, 20, 20, Really? Uh, yeah, I, I, I saw somebody that uh, I, I saw a video where, where somebody applied all the all, all the disasters and mm. if it will come, it will go. Well, all right. What is the way forward for me? I honestly feel like for for, for, for football, I know basketball. Everybody will have to wait out maybe the next six weeks and see maybe maybe this will blow over. Maybe they'll get a lead. We are not playing. We are not playing. Not playing well. Okay, but this is talking from Aston Villa's perspective. Well, I feel if the Euros, yes, I feel if the Euros are gone, if the Euros are gone, that gives you until July twelfth to end the season. So hopefully, maybe by mid-May, games can resume and all of that. You can now complete the season because I don't, I don't know what you guys think. You hear me? Well, I read the story that uh, even UEFA are looking at playing one leg. Games. Trying so, to reschedule. To is it so proper to change the rules in the middle of the contest? Well, they have to. It is a, this is a special so situation. Have situation. Uh, it's a form for force major, so mm. you have to find a way around it. I do not know how the teams will take it. Uh, I do not know how they will accept the venues for those mm. one mm. day games. Mm. That those are the critical tipping points. We debate until August. Well, it's 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 a it's an unprecedented situation. We honestly nobody seems to know what's going to happen next. We just have to fold our arms, keep our fingers crossed, and wait. <laughs> and then, well, congratulations. The wives and the girlfriends can have the remote control back on weekends. The guys have nothing, absolutely nothing <laughs> to watch. We return. After the break, with thank God there was action in Nigeria at least. Thank God for little mercy. Nigerian sports will end us on the show. But first, a quick break. Nigerian sports on sports express. Bonny Ogutui is here for that. Uh, MPFL matches: Abia two one over Adamawa, uh, Rangers one over Rivers, Aiba three one over Sunshine, Heartland two one over Lobi, Efei two one over Dakada. Pillars defeated Jigawa two nil. Um, Kwara defeated Wiki one nil. Was Plateau two one over Nasarawa. That is what put them on top of the log. Four points clear. One move to Nulova MFM. The only draw of the weekend. Casino won. Aqua United won. Nine home wins. I'm going to worry. <laughs> okay. I'm going to worry in particular. 
Okay. Where the NFL president was the medical chief medical examiner, the medical commissioner, the director, and the good news is that ambulance, the ambulance that they brought there seems to be fitted, and the oxygen mask mask work. work. Did he have to do that? You have to I'm, use I'm, that I'm, as a photo I'm not of. finish reporting on my deeds. Okay, sorry. <laughs> and so now we are sure that at least for worry on yesterday, everything was perfect. Now, my challenge is this. I hope in the coming weeks, at every match event, the NFL president will be there to tell us that the oxygen mask is working. What they should have done, if they wanted to do that, was to make sure, sure that was done at every venue. For, for to sure, show us from look, every from venue, every venue, not yes, once. From every venue, and I, I think it's true, I, I think we're true, I, I think it's actually, it's actually trivializing the issue. Exactly. It, it, it's, 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 somebody lost his life. Exactly, that's my that quarrel with this. NFF presence and you're not coming to show where we have the things, and when somebody's already died. Photo up. Um, like I said, um, when, when the issue of the, of the match commissioner was, was raised, uh, the man was suspended. I think it's a, I still feel that it's, it's, it's a, it's the man was made a scapegoat. Um, each, every part of the measures that are put in, according to the rule book, there are people, there are people are, should be in charge of them. Medical personnel, right. security, uh, 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 the match, all of them have their roles to play. And I think they should file different reports. Mm. I, 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 I know that the, 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 the I think one of, I think one of, this, 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 are, this is one of the things we should do going forward. The, the match commission has submit a report about the events. I think going forward, for us to be clear that we are on the right path, for this to be a watershed, a turning point for the way we run mm. stuff here, that there should be someone in charge of security, you should file a report. Yeah. Medical person should file a report. And not one person all, all of, yes, all all of them report to the match commission. And if any of them says, I'm not sure, and they, and they should be experts in their field, yeah. not, not just some random person that, that is going to be a match commissioner and then is, 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 is in charge of everything. Because what it means, means is that the match commissioner it does not know, for instance, if an ambulance is in good, is, 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 is in good working order or not. It's not a medical person. Mm. And so, how much you The report is not accepted. <laughs> All right, that's our show. Our moment of the weekend. I got all of you there. There's no moment of the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> A moment of the weekend, my daughter kept on asking me, Daddy, there is no match. <laughs> as of when I said, just take the remote and leave me alone. <laughs> my name is Tejo Table. Thanks for your time. Good morning.